I wanted to talk again about how much I love the Pakistani mulberries. So I've got three huge trees that are about seven years old and I don't prune them anymore. And that's because they're not shading anything out and the fruit falls so easily. So the very tip tops of the trees, 15, 20 feet tall, I don't have to worry about missing out on the fruit because it'll drop. You have to check it three times a day or you'll miss so much fruit because the slightest wind and the fruits on the ground. But I absolutely love this delicious, it is sweet, syrupy. Now this is a kind that doesn't make you purple like some of the other ones when you eat it, but it is sticky like syrup because it is just so sweet. This one and the long white one that I bought is called Australian Green, but it's also called Pakistani White or King White, Pakistan, Shatoot, lots of different names for the same long white variety. And it's the most, the sweetest of any next to this one. It tastes like sweeter than a donut. It tastes like a really delicious, perfectly ripe honeydew melon. It's just so good. And it's funny because when I first tasted these, I wasn't sure if I liked them, but that's only because I'm used to a mulberry flavor like I grew up with. And that's all I can describe it as being a mulberry flavor. And it was a rubra hybrid, a Morris rubra hybrid. So when I tried these, it just totally doesn't taste like a mulberry to me. It just has a unique flavor all its own. When it's black, it tastes like a grape jelly, and when it's red, it tastes like raspberry jelly. So I was not expecting that, and like I said, it took a few times for me to absolutely love this, and, and I just can't wait for it to be ripe. The leaves, I just wanted to show you about the leaves. This is what really is normal on mulberries this time of year. Just ratty looking leaves. They'll even drop their leaves. This, all three of my Pakistans have dropped all of their leaves almost and now put on all brand new leaves. And this is the 13th of August and has put on a whole new crop of mulberries. Amazing. So all of these just looked awful and all of a sudden lost all of its leaves, which none of the others have done that, dropped all their leaves and put on new leaves without being cut down or taken off by hand. So it's amazing. There they are up there. But anyway, the trees are loaded again and I just wanted to talk about how wonderful this uh, mulberry is if you can grow it. Some say maybe zone eight, but nine and nine and up. But we've gotten into the like 22 degrees. And it took a hit and even lost its fruit, but came right back. So I think if you can protect them for a year or two until they get established, I think they would pretty easily take eight and maybe seven. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I would say it's definitely worth experimenting with them because you just never know. You could be missing out on a fantastic variety if you don't try them. Trial them out, that's what I say. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you that it's, they're just loaded again. I'm excited, so delicious. Already one on the ground. That's where you're gonna find them pretty much. All right, have a great day. Plant lots of fruit trees. Central Florida's on 9B.